Today is a very important video. I'm going to be controversial and pick some favorite fragrances that a lot of people in society and in the fragrance community like to buy. And I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't buy them and what better alternatives there are out there. Today's video is sponsored by Max Aroma. If you want to buy any designer or niche fragrances and you want to get exclusive offers where you get fragrance samples, big samples as well, I'd say like eight milliliters of other fragrances with each purchase, uh, this is something exclusive to Max Aroma. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below and we're going to discuss some fragrances that they've sent me. I've asked them to give me the most fire fragrances they can uh, absolutely provide and it should be exciting to discuss. Let's get into it guys. Class is in session. Of course, we can't do this video without mentioning Dior Sauvage. I made a full video on the alternatives to Sauvage, but I'll keep it simple. It's YEDP. It has the same mass appeal of, y of uh, Sauvage, the same versatility, similar performance, great uh, compliment factor as well, but it's nowhere near as annoying as Sauvage, and it's nowhere near as common as Sauvage. So yeah, YEDP, still the best Y flanker. And of course, Laure Homme Eau Extreme by Chanel, a very popular fragrance. Not my favorite, but I always thought there weren't any alternatives to it. But I've now acquired this fragrance, which I've seen a lot in the community. I always see it on Instagram, this bottle design. This is Cajal Pour Homme. I've been wanting to try this for a long time. Max Aroma have sent it in to me. And this is, yeah, in my opinion, the superior version of Allure Eau Extreme. Allure Eau Extreme isn't necessarily a linear fragrance, in my opinion, but this is more interesting. This is more transformative and has different phases to it. This starts off very fresh, sharp, and woody. A woody signature, I would say, which initially, when I smelled it, I thought, oh, okay, this is, you know, this is nothing like any other fragrance I've smelled before. It's very sexy, easy to wear. And then as it dries down, it has that sort of um, reminiscent tonka bean, sweet, creamy vibe that Allure Eau Extreme has, which is why a lot of people may uh, compare the two. This is more interesting, more niche in that way, um, and you get very good performance, at least eight hours with this. So if you want an all year signature that perfectly balances freshness with sweet facets, this is very good, casual pour on on Max Aroma, of course. And of course, guys, we have to discuss the original Paco Rabanne 1 million. It's still a sexy fragrance, you can still rock it, but like how if you smell Brut, you'll recognize it's, it's a fragrance from a different time. Why well, sell Kuros as a fragrance from a different time? It's the way it's styled and the way it uses certain molecules. One million is a similar thing. So it's not a, a bad fragrance, but it does smell outdated in my opinion. I will stand by that. If you disagree, let me know. In my opinion, a more modern take on a similar approach with the sharp citrus and the sweet dry down would be Versace Eros Flame, which is also beast mode, 14 hours longevity with a high compliment factor as well. I think a lot of people sp uh, sleep on Eros Flame. And with that, we can transition into the original Eros, which is also a very popular fragrance, which I think is getting a bit too boring. And I think it's going to be uh, phased out because there's a lot of good competitors now. I think if you want to be ahead of the curve, guys, in the fragrance community, you go for Azaro's The Most Wanted, which is going for a similar appeal as, as Eros. But to me, it smells more modern, more new, interesting synthetic molecules used now. It's very fresh and sharp, high complement factor, long lasting 10 hours with a loud projection, and it dries down to a very sweet, toffee afterwards and um, i think again it's, it's similar to eros which is like fresh opening sweet dry down uh, but i think it smells more sexy it smells more unique um, so if you're tired of how simple eros smells you're, you're tired of everyone wearing it i think the most wanted is going to be a more modern um, approach to the dna i'm not sure if you guys recognize this trophy bottle uh, but it's called pacroban invictus if you've heard of it obviously it's a very popular fragrance but most of us know in the community that Rosasi House exists. You guys know this, come on. Even the reformulation of Hawas is superior. It is a Middle Eastern take on the bubblegum DNA of, of Invictus. Much more beastly, longer lasting, is stronger. Bigger compliment factor. Um, I, I don't think you, you, Invictus can hold a candle to it. So that is definitely the alternative I would recommend. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys, anyone in the comments, can you make an argument for Invictus against Hawass? Well, if Hawass exists, I, yeah, I don't see why you should buy Invictus. But staying on the theme of summertime, we can focus on Light Blue Intense. You might be surprised that this is here. I love Light Blue Intense, it's one of my favorite designers. But there are superior alternatives to it if you don't want to buy it. Some people actually get a funny 
a rotten egg smell from some of the synthetic molecules in it. If you guys do get that, you know, make sure I'm not hallucinating. You got some, I've seen lots of comments like that. Let me know in the comments down below if you get a rotten egg smell from light blue intense on your skin. It doesn't work with some skin types. I always said that, you know, a higher quality citrus fragrance is Bohemian Lime by Goldfield Banks. A similar vibe much nicer, much more smooth, but you know, Light Blue Intense has its own uh, charm and appeal, but Bohemian Lime, I, I, I can't deny it, it is a higher quality fragrance. However, if we were to take Rosasi Hawas and Bohemian Lime and they were to make a baby, a new fragrance, this is what it would be. This is Nino Amadeo's Catch Me If You Can. Nino Amadeo is one of the new brands on Max Aroma. You can see how gorgeous this bottle looks. There you go, guys, a closer look for you all. And this presentation is, is a good representation of this scent DNA. It is, as I would say, a high quality citrus, very high quality, and a sort of bubblegum DNA put together, but it smells niche and smooth. It lasts about six hours, which is Fine for a summer fragrance, in my opinion. It's very sexy and very mass appealing. It's got a mass appealing of designers, but the quality of a uh, traditional niche house. I think it's fantastic. I think Max Aroma did a good job of sending me this. I really like this, personally. So if you like Hawas and, and with Bohemian Lime or Light Blue Intense, you want to combine them together, this is the bottle for you guys. And of course, we have to talk about Aqua DGO, guys. Everyone knows this fragrance by Giorgio Armani. Apparently the number one best-selling uh, men's fragrance of all time. I would argue that is Lynx Africa, but uh, we don't really know. Uh, so, but the original doesn't last. It has the best opening from the Aqua DGO line, um, but anyone in the community can tell you that usually uh, Profundo is a better alternative and lasts longer, or even better would be Profumo, in my opinion. But let's say you don't want that DNA. You want an alternative, you want that citrus aquatic. This would be something I would recommend in Allure Homme Sport by Chanel, the original, one of my most complimented fragrances of all time. I'm wearing it right now. It is it is a citrus aquatic, the same genre, but a different take. It's more smooth and creamy instead of sharp and piercing by Aqua DiGio. Easy signature material. If you liked the Aqua DiGio wearing it back in the day in the 90s when it was beast mode, and that was your signature, that was your dad's signature. Try a little on sport. In my opinion, that is a better fragrance than Aqua di Gio. And you're not just simply going for the more longer lasting flankers from Profumo, for example. Let's stick on Giorgio Armani. Let's put them on blast. Armani Code, again, it used to be beast mode in the 2000s. That was the fresh daily spicy scent you people would wear. It's very sexy, mature, signature. It was also one of my most complimented fragrances, even the reformulations, but it's been gutted. It doesn't last as long anymore. You know, fair play to Armani. They've actually resurrected the DNA in Armani Code EDP. I think Armani Code Absolute is probably the best flanker in the line. But if you want an alternative to that fresh, daily, spicy signature, I would go for La Nuit de Lomme Blue Electrique. The hype is real, guys. And that takes us to a transition of uh, La Nuit de Lomme itself, which is also a popular fragrance. So similar to Armani Code, uh, Blue Electric resurrects the, the vintage formulation DNA of, of uh, La Nuit de Lomme. Uh, so for that reason, I don't really think the original La Nuit de Lomme has too much purpose to be bought nowadays. I think Blue Electric is better in every way. It actually performs now. It smells more substantial. But, you know, let's say you want a close encounter date night fragrance that focuses on cardamom. I'm going to have to uh, point you towards Le Mal's Le Parfum. Not my favorite fragrance personally. I'm not as big a fan as other people, but some people swear by it. It's getting a lot of hype. It's very highly uh, revered. So I think you should check that out if you want uh, the cardamom approach to your day-night fragrance. But of course, when discussing cardamom-based close encounter day-night fragrances, everyone knows I'm going to mention this fragrance. DNG The One EDP. You've probably heard of it. Sexy fragrance, but everyone knows that performance is trash. Now, I've acquired a fragrance, this is not from Max Rome, this is my own acquisition recently, um, that got a lot of hype, a lot of hype in the community. It's getting a bit harder to find, I'm not sure if it's discontinued, um, but I got it based on the hype, I had to check it out, and it meets the hype, and in my opinion, it obliterates both the one EDP and the original La Nuit de Lomme by YSL. I don't think you need either one of those fragrances anymore, which is a controversial statement, but if any of you have tried this, let me know if you agree. This is the fragrance to replace them. Ise Miyake's Noir Ombre, which also has a very pretty bottle. So what is the appeal of the one EDP? 
It has the spices, which this has. This is more <laughs> interesting as the spiciness. It's got a smokiness from tobacco. This has incense. So this is spicy incense and the best amber notes you'll smell in the designer game. Easily beats the one. This is more interesting, more rich. This has leather in it as well, but I think, I feel like, you know, the leather is actually coming off more as an incense nose in my opinion. So I, that's why I think, that's my opinion. But either way, this is easily the best amber fragrance you'll ever smell. And this uh, has moderate projection. It's a bit, projects a little bit more, but it lasts much better, much, much longer. It lasts about 10 hours. In my opinion, now that I've smelled this, it smells so much higher quality. It smells almost niche in its, in its uh, design, in my opinion. I cannot recommend the one EDP anymore. Um, I think it's fine. I think if you're a beginner, it's fine. It's still a good scent, but this, guys, if you want to be ahead of the game, if you want to have quality, not quantity in your collection, uh, do not get La Nuit de L'Homme, do not get the one EDP. Get Noir Ombre by Issa Miyake. Anyone else try this? Please vouch for me in the comments if you agree or disagree. I also want to talk about Spice Bomb Extreme, which I think is a masterpiece. It's a fantastic designer. Um, you know, it's, it's like the Christmas scent. It's the loud, highly complimented Christmas scent. I don't think there's an alternative for this, really. Um, has its own unique uh, style to it, but one of the fragrances sent to me by Max Aroma, I think can be an alternative. This is Nino Amadeo's Sonflammer. This is for the guy who really wants a Christmas scent. This is coziness in a bottle. This is the kind of guy who's obsessed with Spice from Extreme and obsessed with uh, Burberry London. Pure spiciness, think of the most spicy fragrance with the thickest, darkest piece of wood as being burnt in a fireplace in a nice cozy home and everyone's having, I don't know, hot chocolate for in a Christmas party. This is a bit more close encounter than Spice Bomb Extreme, uh, but it's more interesting, I would say. It's not really uh, trying to go for the, the simplicity of a designer scent. Uh, it's more going on in here, um, and yeah, this is very cozy. If you want a Christmas time scent, guys, this is the one to go for. This is, <laughs> they're going for the same bottle design, the, the same blue look. Um, this is not like a summer aquatic at all, this is a cold, warm, inviting fragrance. And I think it's a really interesting design by them. I get about eight hours with a soft projection with Sol Flammeur. And then finally, we'll finish off with two more niche fragrances. Of course, we're going to have to discuss Aventus, the elephant in the room. I would say the best or cheap alternative is Club de Nuit Intense Man, the EDP. Club de Nuit is, is the, uh, a clone of the smoky batches of Creed Aventus, in my opinion. Very sharp, bright, big compliment getters. The EDP lasts 12 hours. I think it's easily worth the money. I think that's the easy, safe, uh, affordable clone. But obviously, there's, there's lots of them out there. Um, you can try whatever one you want, but that's my easy uh, alternative. If you want to spend money um, and you know get a, a quality, the quality that's more comparable to Aventus, um, it's going to have to be Nishani Hashivat for me. I, I've had more wares of it, and I think I'm more convinced about it. It's, a, it's not a clone, but it's Nishani's take on the DNA. It's a more white, floral, musky, oak moss based um, take on Aventus. Uh, it smells more expensive. I think Aventus, Aventus, its scent is just not as good as it used to be, and its performance is not as good. Whilst Hashivat lasts easily over 12 hours, it is impressive how beast mode uh, Hashivat is. Uh, people will be able to smell you whilst wearing it. And I think everyone, if you really love Aventus that much, you know, try a sample of Hashivat and see what you think. That is my recommendation. What do you guys think? Am I being unfair to Aventus? Does Hashivat take the throne now, in your opinion? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, we have Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kurtjan, which smells expensive in its composition, but its ingredients are cheap, hence why people are able to <laughs> recreate it in clones. Um, I think if you want a, a, the best MFK fragrance, it is not Baccarat Rouge, it is Grand Soir in my opinion. It's not the same vibe, it's, it, Grand Soir is more close encounter, the best amber you'll ever smell probably. Um, whilst Baccarat Rouge is more synthetic, loud, um, more of a head toner. Um, if you want, if you want, you know, the yeah, best MFK is Grand Soir right now, in my opinion. But if you want a uh, an, a cheaper alternative to uh, to Baccarat Rouge, you got lots of options. But I would say Mancera's Instant Crush. It's Mancera's take on the DNA. Again, not a clone. Uh, it's a more floral, creamy Baccarat Rouge with beast mode performance over 14 hours, loud projection, gets you a lot of compliments, uh, again, for like maybe a third of the price of Baccarat Rouge. And of course, my final suggestion for this video, 
can always be uh, Ariana Grande's clout. That is my final suggestion. What did you guys think of this video? I know these sort of titles and topics can be controversial. If I've bashed your favorite fragrance far too much and you need to defend it, make sure to let us know why I'm wrong in the comments down below. Or if you agree with me, also let us know in the comments down below. If you guys are looking to buy any designer or niche fragrances, make sure you're going on Max Aroma, check them out. I will leave any relevant links in the description below. Make sure to check out our other videos as well in the meantime, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Class dismissed.